Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 28 of Healing really Good Pretty Cares. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so we all know how last week's episode ended, hopefully, <laughs> I have not looked up anything between last night and today. I would have watched this last night, but I was super tired, so yeah, I'm watching it on Sunday. But we need clarity on that ish. Not really. Not okay. You're the one who needs help. Because if this is going the way I think it's going initially, that God. Uh, I know, but, but it, it, it happened. happened. Okay, I think I'm fine. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Not yet. Oh. But the cry because a lot of things worry about not no cow. Oh my god. But if it is true, what people have been theorizing for the last twenty seven episodes, bruh, like who would have thought? Because then if it is like that, then one of the other main villains belongs to Chiyu. Did I say Chiyu? Yeah, Chiyu. Chiyu, 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 Chiyu. And then the other one belongs to Hina. But then, what about Umi? Because Umi has her own fears as well, so Umi should have one. I don't know. We'll see. This might be like a two-parter episode, maybe. This is about to probably go like persona route, maybe. I mean, even though it doesn't say part one, it seems like it might be. be okay. Mm -hmm. 
And then they would have wanted so many things. And then eventually you guys would have had to tell them that, hey, we're pretty here and she's one too. It's going to be okay. She's going to be fine. But see, I would have expected one of the other two to do this. Not, you know, Kobayashi, but you know, Kobayashi, like, fuck it, I'm just throwing your go. <clears throat> I mean, because if this really works to use a pretty hair as a host, they're going to be doing it as well. Bad, is it? Really bad. Mm -hmm. Christ. Yeah, but there's no way in hell you'll be able to find out. That's magic, and that's something that you can never figure out. That is. <laughs> it could be, but... Well, yeah. I mean, she kind of turned dark. We, we just don't know the possibility. It's only really the first eight minutes of this episode and we know nothing. Yeah, but I think they would be happy if he was here. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, you're gonna make me cry.
Yeah. I'm busy. No. What button? Um, no. No. Here, throw me the throw me the rope. This button. possibility so she's got to keep fighting it I mean, it was really that simple, though, but okay. How do you feel? Much better? Yeah, we still have to deal with the Mega Me. <laughs> oh, I was really expecting it to be a two-parter episode. You sure? Well, I mean, because you know what? Nah. I don't even need to say you sure. You know who you are? I mean, Jesus Christ, honey. Uh, that's Hibiki right there. <laughs> it's going to be her, isn't it? Oh. No. Oh. I don't even know anymore how this is going. I mean, bruh, I, I thought this would it would have been Nadoka as a, a dark pretty here, but I, I'm interested. <laughs> I want to know.
Now, is it the same voice actor portraying this character as well? I mean, it kind of sounds like her. Because, of course, it is a girl playing uh, freaking guys. But, um... No! It, it doesn't sound like her. It, it sounds like a completely different person. Yeah, because that's all of, you know... I have anger at y'all or something else that we don't know. Oh my god. About those feelings. Just like you. That's exactly what it is. Oh, oh, Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, oh, God. <laughs> I can't. Oh. That makes so much sense. But, dude, I, I can't. What the fuck? Are you serious? Oh my god, then the other two. The other two have to be such stuff from them. That's the only way, because why would one just be about Naroka? The other two have to be like Chiyu and Hinata. Which one? I don't know. But, okay, my guess is the girl has to be Hinata, and the guy, the buff guy, has to be Chiyu, because who else would it be? It can't be Umi, because Umi, like, kind of really has no fears. She technically does, but we haven't seen that ish. We, well, technically we have, but not to the point where like something could be absorbed and like saying, "Hey, here's a bad guy." Yeah, you can't purify him. Kobayashi is a little too OP for you guys. I mean, mm. yeah, they they with the persona raw with this shit. I mean, oh, mm hmm, came from you. It's you. Brother, this is dark. This is hella dark. Was not expecting it to go this way, but at the same time I was because the theorizing for the last few weeks that I've been thinking whenever I have not been watching this show. Oh my God. <laughs>
tell y'all, uh, Hina, <laughs> y'all got some explaining to do because if if that is true, which it is, hell, they also went like lolly rock vibes with this, like I, bruh. I'm so happy I didn't get spoiled on this. Cause, ugh. If I got spoiled on this last night, I would have been cheated while watching this episode because then I already would have known the spoiler. But thank God I didn't. Oh my God. This opens up so many possibilities now for this. I mean, but like I said, since we now know how one was born, like I said, it's a possibility that the other two were also born from the emotions of Chiyu and Hinata. If that is true, we need to see that, like, ASAP, because what else could it be? I mean, like I said, it can't be Umi, because Umi, she has fears, but not as much as the other three do. I mean, Umi's fears are episodic, where they, yes, they can get solved in one episode. We had six weeks all about Umi, and every little fear that she had got answered in six weeks. We're now going back to focusing to the first three girls of the show, with Umi still being the main, another focus as well, which is good, but I mean, this is really dark for a I mean, like, Pretty Gear has done some dark moments, but this, I, I was, oh god. I get the fact of why we're naming this next episode about Nautica Strauss. I get that because after now finding out the truth about, you know, that's the reason why <laughs> he was born because of you. Yeah, you're going to blame yourself on that. And yes, you're going to take out a lot of stress. And she's, she's upset and she's doing her, she's doing, she's finding ways to cope, which is her going out running, doing whatever she can. Yeah, it's a little, you know, everybody's going to be a little worried. Like, hey, maybe you need to just calm down. Even Latte is like, hey, I want to do something for her because, you know, she going off the walls with this. But, I mean, if it's going to go the way that I think it's going to go, both Chiyu and Hinata are also going to have moments where their anxiety, their stress is going to happen. And they're going to have to find a way to deal and cope with it because, for now, for Nautica, her way of coping is being going out on a run, doing whatever, and trying to get everything done, even though, yes, she is tired from the preview and everything. But the only thing I can say about that is, like, she's taking it one day at a time. All of them are going to have to take take this one day at a time. But just, oh, God, since we now know this, like, oh, damn. I mean... Oh, I, I, I just, I'm flabbergasted at this because I, you know, I think, what was it? Like maybe, I wouldn't say I was thinking about this episode one. So I'd say maybe about like episode 10 to now I've been thinking about this for a while and then talking to some people about it and them sharing their little theories and everything. We've like kind of had stuff together and we've like, oh, it could go like this and oh, it could go like that. And then last week happened and so many people were theorizing about that, like, this could go like this, and this could go like that. But the fact is that, like, something that I had been thinking by myself was right and spot on, and that he was born from her. I mean, it's just nuts. Th this shit, dark. I mean, mm. I don't know what else to say about it, but this is a really damn good episode. I will say, the next Pretty Cure series is really going to have to step their game up on what the little connection is between the bad guys and the pretty cure because I think as of right now this is probably the best connection since like what Hugato because Hugato had a really good connection because of that and then because it was like uh what's her face the bad guy was in love with, um with yell right because there's so many issues ish on that 
even though it's not one of my personal favorite seasons, but that was, like, the best thing. So, but yeah, the next Pretty Cure season literally has to step up their game with that. I'm just saying, because, like, I don't think anything with the connections of a bad guy with a good guy could top this. Maybe, maybe not. I don't really know. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction to towards episode 28 of Healing Good Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night for the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 29. And also, BTW, sorry that my mom came in to ask about, you know, since we have this TV and she's starting to learn everything about it. She just needed help with the input. So, yeah. Sorry about that, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!